So, hello fellow YouTubers. My name is Jamie. I'm 26 years old. Um, I'm going to be uh, starting a video log and uh, I want you guys to be able to be a, a part of it. So I'm going to start posting them online. And uh, to get started basically, um, most of the videos are going to be on my uh, uh, 07 Hayabusa. Um, my wife and I both ride, and uh, we really enjoy it, and uh, I want to just kind of get you familiar with the gear that I use in case you ever have any questions. Alright, so uh, I'm here with all my gear. I just want to give you a, kind of a quick run through of the stuff that I wear when I'm riding. Um, at the moment, I kind of uh, refuse to ride without all of my protection. Um, I just don't see the, you know, I don't know. I think it's just a better idea to have it all on. All on and with you, and it just makes me feel a little more confident, a little more comfortable. So I got my uh, HJC Elbows Helmet. It's very comfortable. I got it because of the design uh, and the weight. It's uh, made out of carbon fiber. Uh, very lightweight, very comfortable helmet. Um, it's got all little venties and uh, all the little good stuff that, that keeps you uh, cool in the summertime. And you lock them all up and it keeps you warm in the wintertime. And uh, I love my helmet. I got a uh, the dark visor for the daytime. I don't like wearing my sunglasses under my helmet. And I got a, uh, a clear visor for the night riding. Um, swaps out really quick, really easy. I love my helmet. I'd say probably the uh, second thing you'd want is a nice jacket. Um, something that offers you protection from the elements and uh, protection from the road <laughs> in case it should happen to <laughs> ever happen. Hopefully not. This jacket's great. It's the, uh, the uh, Tourmaster Intake. It's got three different layers to it that all unzip and, and come apart from each other. The inner one is the, 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 uh, the, the warm one, the thermal. It's uh, thick. It's comfortable. It's... Uh, really hot <laughs> so I don't use that very often uh, the one I do use very often inside the coat is uh, inside the jacket is the windbreaker it's great because you get up to you know 65 miles per hour and uh, the wind hits you without it and you're just freezing cold out here it's you know it, it still gets up to about 65 degrees but you know any lower than that and it just gets a little too uncomfortable this is uh, the first one that I usually have on and then over top it this is the the shell the outer liner it's great. It's got all the protection. Um, it's got the elbow and the shoulder, the back. Uh, it's really comfortable. It's not really too heavy, um, but it's got uh, you know enough protection to really afford you, you know, a chance. I think if if you ever go down. Um, I love the color. I love the style. Um, it's got all the, the reflectees, and it's just a, a really good, comfortable, protective jacket. Ton of pockets. Uh, you can cinch down the sleeve to make it tighter so that you know this doesn't slide around on you. Uh, it's a great jacket. I recommend one. Other thing would definitely be gloves. These are also ventilated. Um, I do some of my riding in Vegas. We have a place out there. And uh, I do some of my riding out there. So I wanted to get all the ventilated stuff just so that I wasn't so ridiculously hot. So that's why everything's kind of got holes all over the place. It's like I bought less material. It should have been cheaper, right? Anyway, but I uh, got the ventilated uh, Tourmaster Gel Cruiser gloves. They're very comfortable. Uh, they got the smushy little, you know, pad protectors. It's just really, really cushy gloves. When it gets a bit colder, I just put these little cotton guys underneath it. They're comfortable. They're they're lightweight. They're cheap. You know, you pick them up at Walmart for like a buck ninety nine. It's nice and nice and comfy. Next thing will probably be the boots. The boots are uh, pretty important. I've heard some horror stories about shoes flopping off in a in a wreck and. You know, you you, uh, you end up losing like a you know half inch of your ankle. I mean, it's crazy. So, you know, I went out and got a pair of nice nice Alpine Star boots. I'm not sure what type they are, but they're they're probably some sort of a touring boot because they're not super sporty looking necessarily. But um, they're very comfortable. They've got the side closure on them. Uh, simple to use, quick to pull up. You know, it's really, I mean, a really good value for it. Um, they're made of Gore-Tex, so they breathe well. I uh, don't seem to sweat in them even when I am, you know, hotter out there riding. Uh, road temperatures can get up there pretty high, and so, you know, but my feet seem to stay nice and nice and cool. And then last but not least, the uh, the pants. They're great pants. Um, they're Icon Recon pants. Little uh, Icon Recon. They are ventilated as well in the uh, some of the important <laughs> areas, and the knee as well. They're also uh, stretchy in the knee, so it can what is it articulate? I think I don't know. So when you bend your knee, it gives. It, it gives nicely. Um, your knee actually fits right here in this this area, right here, and uh, that's got an extra reinforcement area to it. It's like aramid protection or something, and it also has uh, extra reinforcement up in the uh, the hip area. So if you go down, you slide or whatever, this super super thirty or uh, I'm sorry, super 
Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Super sturdy denim will keep you safe. Uh, safer, I should say. But anyway, so that's my gear. I really don't really ever ride without it. Uh, it's comfortable. It keeps you nice and warm and, and, and nice and cool. I know it sounds weird, but it does. And uh, that's my stuff. So until next time.